Well, that escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. So far, so good. You're doing well. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. I know it's been unsettling, but we're gonna get out of this. Unsettling my ass? Unsettling is way back over the border somewhere. What went down back there? I'm not sure, but whatever it was scared the crap out of them. We better keep an eye on them. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is where the fire was. Mm -hmm. Should be a postcard here, I think. So that was the bus driver, and I've already done the first playthrough, so spoilers, cover your ears, I don't know why you're watching this, Andrew is the bus driver. Something in the woods, whoa. Sounded like animal like. Oh yeah, the deer forgot about it. Some big ass animal. I hope so, if not what the fuck. Might get a better view from up there. Ghost towns of the North East trash. You could pause and then read. Uh, 
Oh, this time we get to, uh, John gets to talk with Andrew. How you doing? Not sure. Still can't get my head around what happened back there. We lost you in the fog. Sorry. Shows we need to stick together. For sure we do. What is out there? Stick together and we'll make it through this. Thanks. I appreciate you talking to me. Okay, that was chains. I thought it was twitchy before, but it's not. So we got a new hanging monster. I don't know what to name that one yet. I'll think of something wildly inappropriate. Give me time. Historical society meetup. That explains the old-fashioned clothing they saw. Are you for real? Come on, historical society? Get out of here. Hey, something up ahead. Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that. Hey, wait. Stop. I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What the hell do we do now? Um, let's, let's try this. Maybe we should be heading back now. Ah! Yo, what happened? You okay? I'm fine. We have to do something. What the hell do you suggest? Both of us should go. Thanks, Angela. Sure. Let's do this. So... Is that what happens in real life? You unlock a trait and then you suddenly have a heart attack? Hey! You two! <gasps> what trait should I unlock? This is not good. Here we go. Confront the girl. Megan! 
Megan. Hey, anyone there? Hello, anyone? What is it you want from me? Who are you? What are you doing here? These are most troubling times. Wait! Don't go! Stay away! What the hell are you? What do you want? Look. That's impossible. A black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you. Rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. Kind of is. <laughs> Let's get into town. It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I am not going into that godforsaken town. Not now, not ever. You were going before. Why the sudden change of heart? Come on. Say something. This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize, and most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. OK, let's split up. I'll head into town. Great. I'm going the complete other way. Who's with me? Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. I'm with John. I'm with Taylor. Okay. Seriously? I was hoping for you that to happen. Her? For me, this is a bad idea. Very bad. I'll team up with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. If this damn fog lets you through, and you do find help, send them into town after us. Sure thing. I shouldn't play John nervous because he ran away from everything in the first playthrough. Just you and me too. I need him to be a hero. I'm glad you stuck with me. You picked the winning team. All right, Andrew. Hold up. You hear that? <laughs> it's still funny every time. Oh crap. Shit. Ah. I messed up. Are we okay here? We're good. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. Now what?
Are you okay? I wonder where the others are right now. Feels like it's my fault we split up in the first place. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? I guess I'd try to stay positive, do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there... You think that was really supernatural? It's sure starting to look that way. Creepy little girl in the fog. Then whatever the hell that was back at the intersection. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. Sure. I get that. Either way, our goal here is not proving or disproving the supernatural ghosts, whatever else. It's getting the hell out of here. Christ, dude. You see, that was uh, Tanya's book. place is this? Professor?
flipped out again. Just like you did on the road. You can't blame me for that. What the hell was that in there? <laughs> it was not huge and scary. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What am I? In second grade? This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. I think I missed out on this postcard originally. Mercy. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Okay. I'll, uh, forego this. Not as easy as it looks, huh? You put me off. How did I put you off? Constant yabbering. I think the word is jabbering. There's an academic who's going to be getting a cracked head if they keep on yabbering. Jabbering. <laughs> Doink. You should have left this to me. You put me off. Don't blame me because you struck out. The hitter strikes out, not the pitcher. You pitched? I didn't notice. Jeez. Because you put me off. Why would I do that? Because you want to be the big man who breaks the glass and saves everyone. Ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> ah! God damn it. <sighs> Piece of cake. I know you saw something. It's written all over you. I don't want to discuss it. What I want is to get far away from here. Oh. There one. Megan. Can we go in the school this time? Kind of sad that we missed it or didn't go in previously. What's that noise? I'm sure it's nothing. I wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. Goes for both of us. I never did like school. Aw. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Don't stress it. No one made us come this way. We'll find another way. Uh, 
Oh, shit. I just noticed on the bridge. Sun and the moon. That's Taylor and Vince. Twitchy! Are you okay? Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little girl you saw with Andrew before? She's dressed different. Don't get too close. <laughs> get me out of here! got you! <laughs> I mean, that didn't just happen. Quiet now. I'll be gone. What are you talking about? Get away, or you will find me. <gasps> Come on out, Mary. I know very well you're in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I'm sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No! Let go of her right now! What spell have you cast? I am frozen to my marrow. I have done nothing. Amy is the caster of spells. She is the one in league with the devil. I saw her in the forest together with her familiars. I am innocent. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. Thank you kindly. Be silent, child. Can someone tell me what just happened? The girl with the priest. That's the one I saw with Andrew. There must be a connection between her and the other girl. I think you're right. I don't get it. We have to get away from here. Far away. Agreed. Let's go.
glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. <clears throat> <laughs> nice. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Here, need a hand? Ah. Let me help you. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Wherever it leads, it's wreaking havoc on my shoes. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Place must have been a grocery store or something. That campaign didn't work out too well. Over here, look at this. Find another way. What are you doing? Help me push this, will you? Seriously? There's no other way. Oh, I've got no choice. Okay, so that's a different entrance way. Could also go in there. Okay. Can you get through there? Sure, but I'm betting you can't. Don't worry, I'll find another way. Nice time to sit, Angela. Let me see if I can get this open. There we go. Seriously? You're going in there?
Let me go in, look around. If it's all clear, I'll come and open the door. I don't like the idea of being out here on my own. It'll be fine. You got Angela here with you. Don't take a Sunday morning stroll when you get in there. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. I'm in! Is it safe? Think so. Pull your finger out of your ass and open the goddamn door! <laughs> Jeez. Alright, so this time I'm gonna have company inside here. If I can get the door open. Taylor, the door won't open. Okay, we'll look for another way around. Alright, guess not. I guess I missed the stuff upstairs. Good thing I went through there in the first one playthrough. Why not? Oh, did that block me from going <clears throat> behind the counter? Hello? Who's there? You gave me a shock. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. How is it in there? I got company of the rodent variety. Ooh, gross. Relax, they look well fed. Head to the front, I'll meet you there. Can you step on it? We'd like to get out of here sometime. Sure thing. Hold on, I'll be right there. Yeah, it blocked me from going behind there. Oh well. Will you relax? I'm coming. All right, here we go. for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? They talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I, I cannot rightly say. Privy to the rumors Please, about sir, my do wife, not open that door. Do not let them take me. I beg you, husband. I am here to arrest your wife, Joseph. I have the legal warrant here. <laughs> nice. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. 
Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? This was different. I think they could see and hear me. It was hard to tell exactly. They seemed really spooked. You see anything else? I saw this woman being taken away, arrested. She was being accused of witchcraft. It's a spooky little girl. She gave the name Amy to the priest. That's what got the woman arrested. This woman, Amy, the one the girl ratted out, she's my double? Oh, great. Take it easy. This is not just about you. Oh. We've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. What do you think? Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. These small town police stations all look the same. There's got to be a phone in here someplace. Okay, so yeah, that was Anthony's writing on the wall there. Alright, what else can we do? Sorry if this is boring. I'm just... I already did the first playthrough, so I know the story, so that's why I'm not talking as much. Oh, and... I checked out the, uh, there was a behind the scenes interview with uh, Andrew here. I totally didn't, well, I thought about it 
before when I saw him at first, but still, dude from Where the Millers, the uh, like geeky weirdo kid. <laughs> I think he's British, which was very surprising to me. He has a very heavy, cool accent. Keep looking. thing. I thought this was her way out. Real nice. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Mine's dead. Take it easy. I'm thinking I know what's wrong. Please do share. There's no cable plugged in. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. that what do you think answer it wait let's think about this Hello? Who is this? You need to engage. Say something to him. Who am I talking to? Whoever it is on this call is having some kind of breakdown. They sound delusional. This is getting way too crazy. Just hang up. What the f ah! 
here, girl. I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Come now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with you, kin. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? I mean no offence, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbours. Those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness, but I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. I feel a chill in my bones. What manner of evil is this? The beast has his malevolent gaze upon us. His servant is among us. What the? Stay out of this. The supposed evidence against me is little more than spiteful imaginings. If there be darkness here among us, I will shine. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Of Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if I am correct, your you touch will no release danger. her from this affliction. What ails you? It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. <laughs> the master cannot help you now. It is too late. They are here among us. They are here among us. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Felt pretty damn real to me. Seriously? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge, or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. Come on. She's just some little kid. 
who most likely doesn't get how big a deal the whole thing is. She knows exactly how serious it is. Either way, the woman on trial, Angela 2.0, she seemed like she saw us. And so did some of the others. A little kid just seeing us appear out of nowhere could easily believe that was witchcraft, especially back then. Dream up all the excuses you want for that little kid. I don't trust her one little bit. We can't explain how we happen to see each other. How do you expect some little girl from 300 years ago to wrap her head around it? The woman we just saw condemned? I saw her back at the intersection. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor! We're in here! We can't open the damn doors! We can't either! They must be locked! Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one... Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Are you okay? I know what happened. That other version of me was arrested, charged with witchcraft. She stood trial and was condemned for witchcraft. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea, but how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? What if I'm somehow linked to that woman? If she dies, what happens to me? I have no fucking clue what is going down here, but I do know that that woman is not you. Who is she? What the hell does it mean that she's here? She can't be real. She has to be a... Manifestation. You mean, the reason she's here is because... you're here? You got a better explanation? I don't have an explanation. John says witch trials really happened right here in Little Hope. He's right. I think they did. Then that woman was on trial hundreds of years before I got here. So how can I be manifesting her? Reincarnation? Reincarnation? Why not? You came back here because of her, because you once were her. And the rest of us? We're all reincarnated from these people and we happen to be at the same college on the same bus trip here? Like I said, I don't have an explanation. I'm just guessing is all. All right, I'm gonna search around some more. Uh, I think last time in this area I was John. It's a postcard here. All right. So yeah, I think uh, some of the postcards show different endings to the game. Do, 
I know I'm not making as much differences, like in the choices I choose. But I'll try and mix it up a bit for uh, future choices. Tilly Johnson, the writer. Oh, I didn't get this before. Taylor, come here. What am I looking at? You know nothing about this? Not a damn thing. Huh. Weird. Okay, so... This was an 18... Close... Yeah, 1800s. The witch trials took place in the 1600s, right? So there's been many reincarnations. And here's uh, Andrew's poster. What year was this? Why would our bus be diverted this way? Makes no sense. No surprise there. Wow. Check this out. What'd you find? You're on this old poster. First the statue of Taylor, and now this? What the hell is going on? That isn't me. Okay, hold on. 